Hey guys, welcome back to Bombit TV. So today I'm checking out one video that I think is making me go crazy. But should I put a scene Andrew Tate on the reason for converting to Islam? But I thought Jordan Peterson was a Christian. I don't see his reason though, like Andrew Tate, yeah, I know he converted. I've watched it, I've watched a video about it and I already know his reason, but Jordan Peterson, I really need to see his reason. Like, let's get straight into the picture to like share and subscribe to my channel, guys. I can walk through London with a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. Are you a shining example of the Muslim faith? Well, how hard do you shine? I don't understand the question exactly. He wants I'm, to know if you'll convert to Islam. No, I'm saying that. <laughs> no, that wasn't. <laughs> I mean, that's the question. Well, look, I would say to some degree, but, 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 it's not up to me. No, no, but, I, but sense, my question was, my, my, just to remind you, the question was, if I gave you evidence that would satisfy a certain level of probabilistic... No. Re, so you wouldn't? No, because that isn't how I evaluate the situation. How would you evaluate that? This is the crux. Well, I'm Muslim yeah. enough to have been invited to your mosque. No, no, you're always invited, no, even if no, you're not always No, no, but I mean, I mean this specifically. Yeah, I mean yeah. this very specifically, you know. It's a very complicated problem. Okay. You know, when, when people meet me on the street, they'll say things like, I met a couple of Orthodox Jews in New York, yeah. and they said to me on the street that they call me rabbi, which was... It's a hell of a thing to hear, you know. And so, and then I have Muslim people who are listening to my biblical lectures. Mm. And, you know, they say, well, Peterson doesn't know it yet, but he's really a Muslim. And, <laughs> and that's an honor, you know. Mm. Let's talk about proof, you know. Well, for me, the proof of faith is the attractiveness of its adherents. Mm. And that's something to think about, right? Well, are you a shining example of the Muslim faith? Well, how hard do you shine? trying to understand the Christian doctrine of the word and its relationship to the Jewish prophetic tradition for a long time. And I know that Christ is a central figure in Islam as well. I mean, the Christians make the claim that Christ is the Son of God, right? He's the Messiah himself. And it's very difficult if you're going to be a Christian not to accept that claim. I and mean, I think the notion that the free, truthful word is the fundamental redeeming force. I believe that's true. I think it's true literally, and I think it's true metaphorically, and I suspect it might be true religiously, although I'm not exactly sure what that means. And I think part of the stumbling block for me in relationship to Islam, you can understand Christianity in relationship to Judaism, but I can't understand Islam in relationship to Christ, because I, I understand the Christian idea that Christ was a, what would you say, a transcendent consequence of the prophetic tradition and the Christian insistence that his life is associated with the divinity of the word and that that is in some sense a final statement. And so I don't understand how Islam moves beyond that and still places Christ in a place of centrality. The Muslim theology, it's, it's a radical monotheism that, that even I think it transcends the monotheism of uh, Judaism, which has some anthropomorphic elements in it that uh, the Muslims would not accept. But generally, the Jews and the Christians agree on the theology. Rabbis, I've had many talks with rabbis, and, and they, they see Islam. In fact, Kohler says that Muslims were always seen as full proselytes of the Noahidic laws, whereas Christians were not because of the Trinity. So the Trinity is, you know, the, the principle of the triad is, uh, you know, in Plato in the Timaeus that uh, talks about that. So the principle of the triad is a very powerful principle. And there are many, many um, trinities in the world that we see. If I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully, because if you're tolerant of everything, 
then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Facts. Christians are so tolerant now. You don't believe it. They have gay pastors that are, I'm not even anti-gay. But if the book says don't have like what? Yeah, what yeah. do you believe in now? Yeah, right, yeah, right. If, you're tol if you're tolerant of everything, you stand for nothing. I can walk through London with a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay and nothing will happen to me. If I did the same thing with the Islamic prophet, I'd be dead before I got to the end of the street. Boom. That's how much they believe and respect. And I respect people who stick up for what they believe in. Yeah. It's not even about me believing in it. Guys. <laughs> like... Andrew Tate got to be there. Like, he said something like, they are gay pastors. Wait. Are you serious? Nah. Like, this, 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 this is, this is, is, I, I, I sometimes, I feel like crying, like, I get my heart, heart like, I get heartbroken when I see some people acting foolishly in the name of Christianity because it's so, so stupid. Because you can't call yourself a pastor, and I don't even know the church that ordained him, but you can't call yourself a pastor and be gay. Like, place it in the Bible, a man for a woman. You, you can't just add, perform some... I feel if you want to be gay, it's your own opinion. But you wanting to be gay and, a past, and being a pastor, like... God created you. It's supposed to be a man and a woman. But you say you want to like date and marry a man. It's cool. It's your opinion. But I feel you are not following the book. Yeah, that I feel that is not a righteous act, please. It's not a righteous act. And I feel you are not supposed to be ordained as a pastor. You are, you are not supposed to. Because it's, it's your opinion, but... Based on Christianity is wrong, so you're not supposed to be ordained as a pastor. That's my take on it. And it's really heartbreaking that there's someone like that that is actually a pastor. Christian, we actually accept all. But when you come when you have knowledge about the religion, you have read the Bible, you have this connection with God and you have been baptized and you claim to have the Holy Spirit, I don't see the reason why you should still be gay. Because I've watched a video of a porn star actually, like he found Christ and he transformed his life, got married, he has kids. And when you accept God, Jesus, you know, you know right things to do. You know the Bible. You won't. You, you leave those evil things you are doing because the Bible actually says, "Accept them." For the fact, like you are being accepted, is for you to understand, so you can turn back from your evil deeds. Okay, I see. I see that is wrong. The Bible says that is wrong. Like. It's wrong to be honest, but I feel if you want to be gay, it's your personal opinion and it's, it's your choice. But you being a pastor is just. Guys, let's get back. I respect them because they, they believe and they will defend. Muslims are the only people who will defend their religion. They will defend their beliefs. They refuse to be mocked. Mm -hmm. They refuse to be insulted. And I respect that about them. I was born in a Christian country, I was raised as a Christian, and I've always been very respectful of Islam, and it's become more and more obvious to me and, and more and more pertinent that Islam is the last religion on the planet. It's just for me, it feels like the last religion on earth. I feel like there's no other religion. People say to me, why did you convert? I said, I don't really think, feel it as a conversion. I, it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they say, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? Mm. What does Christian mean? Mm. Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Yeah. Go into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls are out on Saturday night drinking and then mm -hmm. they turn up to church because their parents made them. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's no substance to the religion. And also... Islam very closely reflects my personal beliefs. The Prophet Muhammad said faith is to believe that there's only one God and that Muhammad, which includes all the previous messengers, is a messenger of God. To believe in angels, to believe in the books that God has revealed, to believe in the last day, the day of judgment, and to believe in 
the uh, measuring out of good and evil, that good and evil is part of life. And then he said, tell me about Islam. And he said, Islam is that you uh, make the testimony of faith, that you pray five times a day, that you fast Ramadan, that you pay zakat, and that you, if you're able to, you make a pilgrimage once in your lifetime to Mecca. And then he said, tell me about Ihsan, uh, which is the third dimension of Islam. And he said, and this is the dimension of virtuous being, like being a person of arity, of excellence in the world. And he said, Ihsan is to worship God as if you see God. And if, you, and if you don't see him, at least you know that he sees you. So you have an awareness that there is a, a divine presence and you should be in a state of awareness in your behavior. I mean, one of the things about, you know, if you're driving and everybody's speeding and then somebody sees a cop, they all suddenly slow down. That's people when they're in the presence of authority, they tend to behave well, unless they're an utter rebel. I mean, there are those people. I'm trying to figure out how to be a Jew and a Christian and a Muslim at the same time. But become Muslim, that's the best way. Because the beauty of Islam is you get the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Last Testament. I mean, that really is, for me, even the Jews acknowledge this, because Islam in many ways is a universalized Judaism. It's Judaism for the Gentiles. Uh, we, we have the mikvah, you know, they do ghusl, we have ghusl, I mean, you know, which is the ritual, uh, the, the baptism, a total immersion in water ritually to purify yourself, which is done at least once a week. That only leaves one religion left in which you can install. Degeneracy will disappear. Yeah. Crime will disappear. Mm -hmm. Men and women will stay families again. People will have children. And People all the hard. world's problems will be fixed. They'll chase their goals. Absolutely. I call for the Islamification of the entire Western world because otherwise we have atheistic countries. And when you remove religion, now what do you have? People are now adhering to woke ideology and this new insane religion. Everybody has a religion. If you remove Christianity from the West, you don't have atheists. You now have these people ad adhering to this woke new world liberal psychopathy where people are doing absolutely insane and disgusting things to each other and children. And they're sitting there saying that that's progressive somehow. And it's absolutely and utterly disgusting. So yeah. if we need a God to believe in, to preserve morality and decency amongst humanity, then let's have a God that people actually fear and respect. And that's why Islam is the only religion left on the planet. There's no other religion you can possibly name that even matters. This, this is actually very beautiful. Well, I, I won't say Jordan Peterson converted to Islam. You see, like that, that, that part actually got to me like, like, what are you telling me he converted? I actually saw his post recently, I think he posted he was in Israel or something, and I was like, that video, ah, Jordan Peterson, and you, Jordan Peterson, he's a very wise man, and I, I'll keep on saying this, I have huge respect for him. He, he takes things as it is, he does not try to you understand the religion, and he has seen and I get Andrew Tate's point because when he says you see an Islam, you see a Christian, I feel because Christians are more popular. One, because popularity actually makes some people like, okay, I don't know how to put it. If we are, let, let's say we are 100 and 20 of us are out there still. You know, they'll condemn all of us. And that is it. If, if that is it, I feel some, some Christians, some people who claim to be Christians, who, okay, they don't want to claim to be. When they are asked, they just say, I'm Christian. Yeah, they claim to be Christians. They're, I don't know how I'll put this, but some people who identify as Christians, perfect language, that's a perfect word. They identify as Christians, but they are not actually Christians. Because I, I don't really, what Andrew Tate said when he says, Christians don't fear their God, is... I would say it's not true. We actually fear God, and you see, I took a long time to process it. We actually fear God, but I feel what happens to most of us is the fact that we believe in mercy and grace. 
believe our sin has been forgiven. So, you see, this, this is the point where things happen. This is the point where some people, some Christians lose it. Because there's grace and mercy, you actually forget yourself and move astray. Then you come back, then you go again. I, I see why some Muslims actually feel we are making joke of our religion. It's a very understandable fact. And I feel, see, let's be honest with ourselves. Muslim is a beautiful religion. Okay. Based on the things I know, I don't want to go to, based on what I've been hearing and based on things I've seen, I won't say, I, I don't believe any religion is perfect, but based on what I've seen, you guys believe in one God. And I will say Christians believe in one God too. You guys believe God is mighty. You guys believe in Jesus. We believe in Jesus. But we don't believe in Muhammad. But I asked a lecturer one day about Muhammad and he was like, uh, when we say Muhammad was a prophet, but, but he, he puts that but. Because he said, based on the Quran, you wouldn't say he stole it from the Bible. He actually received message from God. So the thing there is, I, like, it's, I don't know, I feel I need to talk to a pastor. There's someone in my conversation, Iwe Oluwa. Yes, I think that's her name. But she's a Christian and she's my conversation. I need to talk to you. This is open. I need to talk to you. Guys, make sure you like. She's got my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.